Join me as I take you through a step-by-step process of how to set up your Engrave Zero wallet. Let's do this. Hello everyone, Crypto Renza here, your channel for Apex Bitcoin and crypto news. And today I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step process on how to set up your Engrave Zero wallet. How to create an Engrave wallet. We're going to go through a step-by-step process here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set up your PIN. It's going to be an eight-digit code. Okay. And after you enter your PIN, any PIN of choice, so whichever eight digits you'd like to use, I highly recommend something that's not easy to remember. Go ahead and put that in, and then you're going to want to confirm it as well, and then hit next. After you've done this, you want to create a a new wallet. So go ahead and click on the plus sign to create a new wallet. After this, you're going to choose your wallet. Uh, It's just easier if you select the engrave wallet, and we're going to go through this process in detail next. Okay, so go ahead and hit next again. And now we're going to set up your biometric fingerprint. So go ahead and hit next one more time. And now we're going to register your fingerprint. So go ahead and turn your device over and place your fingerprint on the back near the sensor. After it registers, go ahead and hit next. And then your fingerprint will also be used uh, to unlock your device and sign transactions as well. Okay, now, super important part here. Here, you're going to create your real-time unique PIN. This is also known as your passphrase. Now, very important. I'm going to pause here in the video. Definitely lean in. Hear what I'm saying. This is the most important step and the most important step to remember to never give out. Okay, this code is your everything. With this code, people can take all your money. People have full access to your wallet and full access to all your Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I would say think of it like your social security number, but that's honestly not a strong enough example. I would only give this code to someone in a will or a spouse or someone, God forbid something happens to you, you want to make sure your loved one has access to this wallet. But any other person you give it to, honestly, you're just asking for trouble. And let me elaborate another point on this step. Before you create this wallet code, be in a private room, close the door, Make sure no one's standing over your shoulder. Very important. Might sound paranoid, but you wouldn't believe the stories that actually go on with this stuff. So make sure no one gets this code unless you want them to have access to all of your money. Now, there's going to be other things called your addresses, your wallet addresses. That's different. Do not confuse your seed phrase with your wallet address. So here's a quick example. Let's say someone comes do yard work for you, trims the trees, cuts the grass. And let's say they're pretty futuristic and they want to be paid, let's say, in Ethereum. Well, all you have to do is get their Ethereum wallet address. You can give that address to anybody in the world. That's how you get paid or that's how you receive Ethereum. Each coin is going to have its own address. So again, those can be given out to anybody you want. However, that's how money is sent back and forth. Actually, when you're going to send money to this wallet, you're going to also use that code. But this passphrase is separate. This is something you write down. And this is where it gets a little confusing on how to store it. And I'm going to show you a technique that I use. But there's other techniques you can do. It just falls down to what you feel secure. Okay, so back to this. Remember, no one gets this code. I love Engrave. They have a a random number generator that is impossible to duplicate, and you can continue to shuffle the numbers to just get the most random code 
literally known to man. It, it's incredible. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So once you get to this step, the numbers are just automatically generating. Now you can hit freeze at any time or unfreeze and they generate again and back and forth. Hit next. And then now it's going to hold up on the screen all the digits where you froze. Now you can go in individually, select a line of code if you'd like, or multiple ones, two or three. I did this quite a bit and hit shuffle and then those are going to change again. And you can do this as many times as you would like. Honestly, I did this like 50 or 60 times. I'm very big about just really having a unique code and number. And then you can go ahead and hit next. And again, confirm your key. Write this down. Pay attention to how the numbers read from top left all the way across to bottom right. Very important. Once you've confirmed your keys, you if you purchased the graphene, let me go ahead and get mine. I can only show you the front of mine because this is my actual graphene and the back of mine actually has my code. But let me hold it up to the camera so I can kind of zoom in and you can see. Uh, come on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. There we go. See all the holes? This is solid titanium. It's quite heavy. And each line has uh, letters and numbers. Let me see real quick. Um, each line. Yes. So, for example, there's just like an alphabet and a numeric number. Alphabet, numeric number. And what you're going to do is, remember, write your code down, and you're going to basically take, there's a tool that comes with it. It's literally a pressure-gauged pin tool. And you're going to press it very hard into the titanium, and it's going to punch through. There's like a, a gas sprocket, compressed sprocket in here that's going to pu punch through and make a mark on your code. So, to me... This is the safest way to store it. It is titanium. It is fireproof. It is lockable. You have to have both pieces. Again, sorry, I can't show you the other piece because my, my code is on it. But you take both pieces and you put them together and it displays your code, which is really cool and unique. Okay. So depending on if you're going to do that step, you're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, and, or if you're going to write it down, just find your method of what you're going to do. Once you're done, go ahead and click, I have made my backup. And then after that, go ahead and hit next. Okay, great. Now your dashboard's set up, and now we're going to start to actually set up your wallet for the coins or tokens that you would love to hold our own. Basically, the ones you want to add to it. Okay, so now let's set up your dashboard. So, for example, click on Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tezos, again, whichever ones that you want to add. You don't have to add all of them, but just select the ones of your choosing. If you need to add a coin that you don't see on the list, just click on the plus add coin, and then you're just simply going to type in the coin you're looking for. And once that's done, you're going to hit select. And next. Okay. And then now is the final step. You're almost done. One more step. Now, we're going to sync with uh, the Liquid app, which is really nice. Because even though, remember, this wallet's air-gapped, which means it's not connected to the internet, you're still going to have a way to see all your coins in real time on your phone. But even though you're seeing it, remember, your actual coins are off the internet, away from prying eyes, away from criminals and hackers, which is beautiful. And again... Just so you know, this is my preferred wallet of choice. Here is my engrave. This way you can see it. There we go. So this is how it looks. And then again, you can see the back. Let me turn around. Sorry, you can see the biometric scanner. Sorry, guys. I have sophisticated cameras that like to stay zoomed in on my face. So I'm trying my best to get it zoomed for you. Um, so again, let's go ahead and set up the, the mobile app for you as well so you can see how that works. So you're going to go ahead and scan the QR code that you see basically at the bottom of the screen or on uh, the engrave. Um, and again, make sure your phone's open, scan it, hit next. And then you should see it pop up on your phone. And then hit next. 
and then you're going to sync with zero. And again, take a picture of that barcode and you should get a screen at the bottom of your phone that's going to say your accounts are synced correctly. And then you're going to hit next. And then finally, you should get a congratulations screen. You're, you've generated your truly unique code personally and Secure Wallet is now completely offline. Well, guys, it's really that simple. Uh, and just for your added convenience, links in the description below, as well as the pinned comments for the Engrave Zero Wallet, as well as the graphene. And I'll see you next time.